Hi everyone, welcome or indeed welcome back to the channel. If you are new, don't forget to hit subscribe because today I'm going to be showing you what I've recently picked up in the world of skincare. Yes, I have so much stuff here to show you that I've actually had to steal one of the baskets from my bedroom to actually bring it out here. Yes, there were lots of good offers on lately, so I don't know whether you spotted them as well and picked up a few things. You may well have recognised some of the packaging that I had in my basket, so without further ado, the first thing that I picked up was this amazing set here from Emma Hardy and it was their Holiday Heroes kit. When I heard about the fact that they were doing this via their Facebook page, I was already tempted at the price that it was. Then, about a week or so ago, they had, I think was it 20 or 25% off everything on their website and I was like, right, I can't put it off any longer. This set is gonna have to be mine because basically, this was an absolute bargain. The actual kit itself was advertised online for £49, which when you see what's in here is fantastic value anyway. But then with the discount that they were running, it actually brought it down to £36.75, which is just amazing really, because I think that is the price of just one of the items that is in here. But there is a bit of a story that goes with this when it arrived. When it arrived, I opened it up and I thought, oh, this is a really nice selection of goodies actually. Because of how it's been packaged, I think that this would have made a really lovely gift. And in here was a 15 ml pot of their very famous Moringa cleansing balm, which is absolutely gorgeous. I'm sure at some point in the future, I will just buy a full size. But at the moment, I'm just getting through various sizes that are smaller than the full size. There's also this Hydra body oil as well, which I have never used. So I was quite excited to try something new because there aren't many things of Emma Hardy's that I haven't tried yet. There was also this full size item, which is the Brilliance facial oil. And this was one of the main reasons why I picked this set up because I've tried like a deluxe sample size of this, I suppose, and I fell in love with this oil. It's gorgeous and I've been so close to buying it so many times and I'm glad I waited for this kit to come out because I'm pretty sure that this retails for about £36. I will check and I will let you know on screen, but there's 30 mil in here and this is just a beautiful facial oil to use either day or night. I managed to get away with using this under moisturizer and stuff. So very happy to actually have the full size in my life now. And of course, what kit would be complete without one of their cleansing cloths, which I'm not a massive fan of these. You've got kind of a very thin muslin layer on one side and then there is a microfiber side on the other side. I'm not an amazing fan of these. I have definitely tried cleansing cloths that I prefer to this. The other main reason why I went for this set is because it had a full size of my current Holy Grail moisturizer in it, which is Emma Hardy's Protect and Prime. And this is the replacement one they sent me because when I opened the package up, this was laid on the bottom of the packaging and I don't know what's underneath this kind of metal casing. Um, it's just a pump applicator, which frustratingly, there is no way of seeing how much product you've got left. So a clear strip down the side would be fantastic if you are watching people at Emma Hardy. But basically, this whole section here had snapped off and it's actually glass underneath and there were little tiny shards of glass everywhere and I was so disappointed. So I contacted Emma Hardy obviously to let them know what had happened and they were really good. They sent out a replacement right away and just asked me to send the broken one back, which I have done. But included in the little replacement package were these two items as well. They did say to me they were sending me some samples but I wasn't expecting them to be this kind of size. So I've got another Moringa cleansing balm but I've also got a tube of their age support face cream which I do actually have the full size of this and it's a lovely night cream. You can use it during the day as well, but it's a bit heavy on my oily skin. I only tend to use it during the day if my skin is feeling particularly dry and parched because it is quite a strong, heavy duty moisturizer. But because I already have the full size of this one and there's 15 mil in here, so that's a pretty decent size, I am probably going to stash this away for my 2000 subscriber giveaway. So that's my little bundle of stuff from Emma Hardy. I'm really curious about whether you guys have tried anything from Emma Hardy because 
I don't really feel like I hear much about anyone really talking about them and I think their products are absolutely beautiful. So let me know in the comments if you've used Emma Hardy and what you think of it. Next up, I had been coveting Liz Earle for quite some time because quite a few of you really recommend the brand. It's always a brand that I've wanted to try but I just never really went there because I was a little bit cautious about the price. When it comes to pricier brands I do prefer to get samples if I can just to see if I really like them and that's exactly what happened with the Emma Hardy stuff that I fell in love with. I managed to pick up samples of a lot of it and it just kind of snowballed from there really. And it was thanks to Mandy again, hi Mandy, for putting the today's special value offer on QVC on my radar which I didn't actually go for in the end because I wasn't that excited about it so instead I had a look at what was on offer on their actual website and I found what I thought was a really great offer to give me a good introduction to the brand. And really, I just wanted to try a good selection pack of products just to give me a really good idea of whether I was going to like the brand or not. And the pack that I went for, as it stands, is still available on Lizelle's website. So the things that I got in it are a massive thing of the original Cleanse and Polish. This is a 200ml one, so I'd like to think that this would last me for quite a while. There was also this skin tonic, which I suppose is a bit like a toner. I managed to pick up a nice moisturizer as well. The one I went for is the light one, so good for combination and oily skin. And then the last thing were these two skin tints. So one of them is supposed to actually look like foundation, I suppose, a bit like a BB cream, which is this one here, and I picked it up in beige. And then there was also a bronzer version as well. So that was the pack that I actually bought. In conjunction with buying that, I also picked up this, which is a cleanse and polish, but in rose and lavender, I think it is as well, because I just couldn't resist the idea of the scent of that. So that's a 100ml bottle, which I think it's just really attractive packaging. And then in buying those things, I then got three kind of deluxe size sample products. One of them is this Eye Bright Eye Lotion. I've got another moisturiser. And then the other product that they included for free, I don't have with me right now because it's pretty much empty, it's in the bathroom, but it's a cleanse and polish, the original one, in this kind of size. So I have already used the cleanse and polish and so far I really like it. What I like about it the most though is the fact that it comes with the most amazing cloth I think I've ever used and I've used quite a few of these kind of muslin cloth things to wipe your face with. There's just something about the Lizelle one that's amazing. It's a lot bigger for a start and it's got a real scrubbiness without being too harsh. So I'm a massive fan of the Lizelle cloth that goes with the cleanse and polish stuff. The only other products that I've tried at the moment is I've tried this moisturiser and I do actually quite like it. I've only used it a couple of times because I'm trying to get through what I'm currently using, which is the SKNRG stuff, which I mentioned from a latest in beauty box, I think a couple of boxes ago. So that's lasting pretty well, even though it was just a sample. So I've gone back to that one for a minute just to try and get through using it because I obviously want to try and remain consistent to see if things are doing anything to my skin or not. I'm also using the Eye Bright Soothing Eye Lotion and I'm only using this in the evening, usually after I've got out of the shower, if I've missed any mascara or something, and it's sat under my eyes then I put some of this on a cotton pad and just sweep it over my entire face actually to be fair because there's no point in wasting it really but this is nice it's not got much of a scent to it you can tell it's got witch hazel in there because that's the strongest scent that's probably coming across I don't think I would probably be that excited to pick up the full size version of this because I haven't really noticed it doing anything too spectacular to my skin. So not sure if I would pick the full size of this one up as it stands. The other product that I've been using is the Instant Boost Skin Tonic and I have been using this pretty much every morning before I put moisturizer on. And I really like this for a few different reasons. One, it has really cool packaging, which I know shouldn't play that big a role in the grand scheme of things, but it's just so cool because you'd think that this would just be a normal kind of twist off cap, put it on a cotton pad, but no, look at this. You twist it and it is pretty secure and this little spout just comes out. So you tip it on your cotton pad and you're good to go and it's really clean and lovely and I don't think I've seen anything like that before, so I really appreciated the design feature. 
I also love how it feels on the skin as well because I'm quite fussy when it comes to toners. I don't like to load my skin up with too much stuff and this doesn't feel as though it leaves too much of a residue on the skin either. You don't really notice that it's there, it just kind of evaporates and dries down to nothing really. So moisturiser and makeup goes really nicely on top of this. The last reason why I like it is a purely personal thing but it's the smell. The smell of this just reminds me of my grandmother and I miss her so much and I don't know what kind of skincare she used, I will have to ask my mum and see if she knows what she used, but there's something about this that's just got a smell that reminds me of her and it just reminds me of giving her a big hug and just getting this, I don't know, this most amazing aroma of, it's definitely rose and kind of florally, but there's a freshness in it too. And actually just looking at the ingredients here, you've got aloe vera, calendula, cucumber, rose scented geranium and natural source vitamin E. So I think it is definitely that concoction that I'm smelling of a really beautiful floral, but it's also quite fresh with the aloe and the cucumber in there as well but it just reminds me of her. And because of that, I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna want to be without this now. So it's a lovely product. I love the packaging. I love the smell of it. The only thing is I don't know off the top of my head how much this is full price. So I may well be a little bit like, ugh, if it doesn't last very long but it's such a lovely toner, I really, really like it. Then the last order to speak about is quite a modest order from Desiem directly. I have never placed an order with them before, and boy, did it take a long time. I can see why people get a bit frustrated now. And I think the main two reasons why it took such a long time to get to me is, I picked up a bottle of the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% because I feel like everybody loves this stuff. So I want to see how it compares to my Alpha H liquid gold because that's got glycolic acid in it too, but there's a huge price difference between them. So I'll be quite intrigued to see how my skin gets on with this in comparison to the Alpha H stuff. There's 240 ml in here as well, so it's a very generous bottle too. So I think that was one reason why it took so long because everyone and their mother keeps trying to buy this stuff. However, I think the larger reason why this order took a long time to get to me is I picked up this which I know has been recommended to me on the channel, so thanks to those of you that have recommended it. This is the Hylamide HA Blur. I wasn't gonna pick this up, but on all of their social media, Desiem announced that I think this had won a load of awards or something, and to celebrate that, they were going to sell it half price. And I was like, okay, I don't need any further excuse than to pick this up. Of course, I went to pick it up and it was out of stock. So I registered my email address for when it was back in stock, expecting them to maybe pull the deal because they'd sold out, but they did actually honor it. So I managed to pick this up half price. I have actually used it a couple of times because I couldn't resist it. And you know what? So far, I am so impressed. I've only tried it with a couple of foundations. I do need to try it with some that I know do not work for me and make me go really oily, which if you've seen any of my foundation videos recently, you'll know that quite often happens. So this could be the answer, who knows? But I'm very excited about giving this one a go. The last two products I picked up from Desiem are both from The Ordinary and I picked up the Salicylic Acid 2% because I've not really tried salicylic acid for a while. This is one of these products where you just dab it on spots as and when you need to. So I thought, let's give some salicylic acid a go because it's been a while and it's always good to change things up from time to time. And then the last thing I got, which I feel a lot of people talk about, is the AHA and BHA peeling solution treatment. And I'll just show this to you because it's got the most amazing color. I see so many pictures of people using this on social media and I just wanted to be part of the party where everyone seems to put this on on a Sunday night in preparation for the week ahead and everyone looks like they've smeared beetroot all over their face because look at the colour of this. Isn't it incredible? I just actually managed to find two clean cleansing cloths to show you. The first one is an Emma Hardy one. So you may be able to see you've got muslin on one side and then quite a fluffy microfiber on the other. 
I'm not a fan of these. I think it's a bit of a funny size. I don't care for the microfiber side at all. I don't think that brings anything to the table at all. And the muslin side is just not particularly good quality. It's very thin. So not a big fan of the M. Hardy ones. This is what a Liz Earl one looks like. So you might be able to tell that there's two thicknesses of fabric there. It's the same muslin fabric. It's a really good quality one, which has been really well stitched all around the edges. It's quite a bit bigger as well. And there's just something really nice about the texture of this when it's wet and you're polishing that cleanser off. And it does just make your skin feel fabulous. So I actually have quite a few of these cleansing cloths now because quite a few came in that order I placed. So really pleased about that. But yeah, I would definitely recommend this cleansing cloth. It's lovely. I've also tried the one from Aurelia, which is beautiful, but it's too soft. So if you want something very gentle, the Aurelia cleansing cloths are absolutely gorgeous. They are very, very silky soft with a ever such a slight scrubbiness to them. But the Lizelle ones, fabulous. The last thing to show you in this little haul that I did is this product here from Superdrug. And this is supposed to be very comparable to Liz Earl's Cleanse and Polish. It's also on offer at the moment as well. I think it's got like a third off or something. I'm sure this was only a couple of pounds. So this is their Brightening Hot Cloth Cleanser. And it does say normal to dry skin, but I thought I would just give it a go anyway. And it does actually come with a cleansing cloth as well. So I thought it would be quite nice to do a bit of a comparison between the Liz Earl one and the Superdrug one because the actual cleansing cloth cloth is probably quite comparable to the Liz Earl one. I've not actually used this one yet though, this has just been sat in the box so I'm not sure how it does compare but certainly in terms of look and everything it does look really quite similar. So blimey, I think that's everything. Wow, that's quite the skincare haul, but it was spaced over a little bit of time and I think it's safe to say I'm not going to need anything new skincare wise for quite some time, unless The Ordinary come out with something again, which everyone starts raving about. I'm just gonna have to step away from social media. I think that's probably the simplest solution. So that's it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up down below because it does really help support my channel. And if you are new and would like to subscribe to see more content like this from me in the future, I will pop a button just here so you can click it and subscribe and get notified of new content as and when it gets uploaded. And if you've not seen my last video, I will pop a link to that one just up here so you can click it and check that one out too. Anyway, I hope you're all really well and I will see you again soon. Bye.